In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for HNO3 plus NaOH. This is nitric acid and this is sodium hydroxide. So the first thing to notice in this reaction is that we end up with an ionic compound. This is a salt and then water. So that's a clue that this may be a neutralization reaction. So we have our salt and water on the reactant side, we can see we have nitric acid. That's an acid. And we can tell that's an acid, this H in front of it, that's usually a clue that we have an acid. NaOH, that is a base. And we can tell because we have an OH group, a hydroxide group, it's bonded to a metal here. So that will be a base. It's helpful. It's helpful to memorize these common acids and bases. That'll save you a lot of time as you learn chemistry. So let's look down here is nitric acid HNO3. That's an acid, it's a strong acid. And then NaOH right there, sodium hydroxide, that's a base and it's a strong base. So very useful table to memorize. So when we have an acid and a base and they combine to form a salt and water, that's a neutralization reaction. Let's take a look at a table of common chemical reactions though, because we wanna make sure we know what's going on here. So we do have our HX, H is the hydrogen, and then this is the X, plus a metal, and then the OH, that's the hydroxide, gives us a salt and water. So that's neutralization. It's also considered a double replacement or double displacement reaction. That's because the NA and the H, they change places. So the H goes with the OH, and HOH, that's H2O, and the NA, goes with the NO3, NaNO3, or sodium nitrate. So it's a neutralization reaction, but it's also a double replacement reaction. So one reaction can be classified as two different types, neutralization here and double replacement. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for HNO3 plus NaOH, nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.